Hey, this is Stargate. Actually, it's not. It's uh, actually the bottom ring of BB-8. So, as you can see here, I'm trying my hand at ABS, and I've had a, a, a few different attempts at this, and it's turned out well, not so well, and, uh, well, here's a story about how this works well. So, for me, with this, what I've done is, uh, initially I tried the blue painter's tape, and it didn't work too well. Uh, I started my first print off with ABS, went across it, and it started peeling up at the corners. So I decided, hey, I'll pause it real quick, put some crazy glue down, hold it down until it's stuck, and then continue printing. Well, as I continue to print, the corners started lifting up and peeling the tape off the bed. Not so great. So I reached out to some of my Facebook friends, and they suggested that I use uh, ABS Slurry, which is a concoction of acetone and uh, ABS parts so failed ABS parts in my case but um, so what you do is you take a brush you, you brush it on the bed and then heat up the bed and then I like to go over it one more time just kind of like boil the ABS slurry into the bed uh, smooth it out so that the prints not going to be dragging on any bad parts or whatnot and then go from there so so far, I've had no problems with it. As you can see here, um, they come up glass smooth because of the slurry, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can see the hexagonal shapes in there and whatnot, but um, this is ABS glued. And it's a good part. I gotta do this one next. So, anyway, so with ABS, you need to do a slurry. That's just what it comes down to. People have tried hairspray, and, I haven't tried that yet, but this works well for me. Now, uh, with this printer, I think the suggested print was uh, 210 Celsius. I bumped it up about 10 or 20 degrees because it's a little bit colder outside. Because what will happen is, as you print this, they'll start separating. Uh, and that's not good. You don't want that. You want something that's going to be equally... Equally printed with no separations. So, uh, if you get separations, up your up your extruder heat a little bit, and that should be good. So, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna let this print. It's about 8:50 at night right now, and I'm gonna go to bed. So this is gonna take about another hour, maybe two hours. And uh, in the morning, I'll show you guys what the result is. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. So, uh, I've got the ABS ring printed down here, and I've got the rest of the BB head done. I've still got one last antenna in the backpack here that i got to work out on, so uh, to kind of make it fit better. Uh, but there she is. So, uh, this is just a uh, first paint test kind of thing that I'm doing right now, so it's a little bit shoddy looking, but... I think the color is pretty close to what's used on screen. That's only one coat of paint, and in some areas you can still see um, the primer underneath it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, let me take this off here. Uh, I stopped to attach this with magnets. Uh, I glued the inside of this with ABS slurry uh, so it would stick together better. And let me show you the ring. So this ring here, uh, I went over and sanded it a few times. I still got to seam some of the, finish some of the seams on the, um, come on focus, on the, the, the ring so you can't see them. That one there, that one's pretty well off but I could use a little bit of work. And uh, that one's completely gone. So actually there's a little bit there you can see right on the edge. So, but uh, so it's looking pretty good. So uh, the other half of the ring is attached to the base. And for now, I just put wood screws in there. I'm going to go ahead and put some bolts in there and then uh, tighten that all up, make sure it's all straight and true. So, but that's it for now. Uh, my next part is electronics. Uh, I've got to start buying, uh, I have an Arduino already that I'm going to be using for this. I've uh, got to get some batteries, uh, an XP so I can communicate wirelessly between the head and the body, and then a whole lot of other stuff that I'll be going over uh, in another video here pretty soon. So, um, thanks guys for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see me continue to build this BB-8, 
leave a like, subscribe, share. As always, guys, do your thing. Thanks for watching.